Hello everyone, you're watching the channel Military TV. Today we'll show you top 10 self-propelled howitzers. Self-propelled howitzers are tractor-wheeled artillery systems. These have high degree of mobility, and that is their main advantage over towed howitzers. These artillery systems are used as combat support weapons. Normally they provide indirect fire, however if needed, they also have direct fire capability. Most of modern self-propelled howitzers are fully or partially armored. In modern combat, these artillery systems often exploit their mobility for shoot-and-scoot type attacks in order to avoid counter-battery fire. So which is the best self-propelled howitzer in the world? Which is the most capable and effective self-propelled howitzer? This top 10 analysis is based on firepower, rate of fire, ammunition, load, deployment, and redeployment time, protection, and some other factors. This list only includes self-propelled howitzers that are currently in service. It does not include artillery systems that are under development or at the prototype stage. Currently, the top 10 self-propelled howitzers in the world are these. Number 10. 2S19 MSTAS. The 2S19 MSTAS self propelled howitzer entered service with the Soviet Army in 1989. Currently, it is in service with Russia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Ethiopia, Georgia, Ukraine, and Venezuela. Russian Army operates about 550 of these artillery systems. This artillery system is fitted with a semi automatic loader. They can load the gun at any angle. The MSTAS is compatible with all standard Soviet and Russian 152mm shells. It fires a wide range of munitions, including standard and rocket-assisted HEFRAG projectiles, cluster projectiles with anti-tank submunitions, and jamming-carrying projectiles. It is capable of firing Krasnopol precision-guided munitions. Maximum range of fire is 24.7 kilometers with standard HEFRAG projectile and 28.9 with rocket-assisted projectile. The Krasnopol projectile has a maximum range of 20 to 25 kilometers and a hit probability of 70 to 90 percent, depending on the version. It can also engage moving vehicles. Maximum rate of fire is 7 to 8 rounds per minute. A total of 50 rounds are carried inside the MSTAS. This artillery system has no dedicated reloading vehicle. However, there is a separate conveyor in the rear of the turret, allowing loading of ground ammunition. The 2S19M2 is a recent upgraded version. It was adopted by the Russian Army in 2013. Number 9. AS-90 The AS-90 is a British self-propelled howitzer. It was developed by Vickers. It entered service with the British Army in 1993. Production ceased in 1995. A total of 179 AS-90 self-propelled howitzers were built for the British Army. It replaced the FV-433 Abbott and the USM-109. The AS-90 is fitted with 155mm L-39 howitzer. It is fitted with an automated loading system. It is compatible with all standard NATO 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 24.7 kilometers with standard HEFRAG projectile and 32 kilometers with a rocket-assisted projectile. The AS-90 is capable of firing three rounds in 10 seconds. Maximum rate of fire is six rounds per minute sustained, two rounds per minute. A total of 48 rounds are carried. The British AS-90 is supported by an 8x8 high-mobility logistic support vehicle fitted with a load handling system. It is used to transport ammunition. The AS-90 Braveheart was an upgrade program of the AS-90. It was fitted with a longer 155 L-52 gun and had improved range of fire. This project was terminated. However, BAE Systems created a crab artillery system fitted to the AS-90 Braveheart turret on a modified PT-91 40 main battle tank chassis. This artillery system was aimed to meet a Polish Army requirement. Eventually, it was adopted and deliveries commenced in 2012. Polish Army requirements was for 80 howitzers of this type. However, the whole program was plagued with problems. Number 8. Crab 
The Crab self-propelled howitzer was developed by BAE Systems Land Systems. The turret of the Crab is almost identical to that installed on the AS-90 Braveheart. This artillery system uses a modified chassis of the Polish PT-9120 main battle tank. The Crab won international competition and was selected by the Polish Army. The first of these howitzers were delivered to the Polish Army in 2012. However, the future of this artillery system is uncertain due to various problems. The Crab is fitted with 155mm L-52 howitzers, which is compatible with all standard NATO 155mm ammunition. The Crab has an automatic projectile loading system and modular charge system. Maximum range of fire is 30 kilometers with standard HEFRAG projectile and 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectiles. A total of 60 rounds are carried. The Crab is fitted with a Polish fire control system, intercoms, and radios. The vehicle is complemented with Danish muzzle reference systems, which tracks outgoing projectiles and adjusts the next shot. The Crab uses the modified chassis of the PT-9120 main battle tank. However, since 2012, production of the engine for this chassis stopped. In 2014, it was reported that Poland plans to acquire 120 track chassis of the South Korean K-9 self-propelled howitzer for the Crab. Battery of this artillery system consists of six Crab self-propelled howitzers, two ammunition resupply vehicles based on the 6x6 military trucks, Warren maintenance vehicle, and a Zillia artillery C-3L vehicle. Number 7. M109A7 Paladin The M109A7 is a further upgrade of the ubiquitous M109 self-propelled howitzer, which was introduced in the early 1960s. Formerly, it was known as the M109A6 PIM. Unofficially, this latest version is still being referred to as the Paladin. In 2013, the M109A7 was approved for production. The first of these artillery systems will be delivered to the U.S. Army in 2015. The upgraded M109A7 has a new automated loader and some components of the canceled Crusader and NLOSC. Maximum range of fire is 24 kilometers with a standard projectile and 30 kilometers with rocket assistance. The M109A7 can also fire M982 Excalibur extended range precision guided projectiles that have a maximum range of 40 kilometers. However, its maximum rate of fire is only four rounds per minute. This limitation is due to the design of the self-propelled howitzer that traces its roots back to the late 1950s. The Paladin has a brief reaction time. It can stop and fire the first round in under 60 seconds. Sustained rate of fire is one round per minute. Each M109A7 Paladin is escorted by an associated ammunition supply vehicle. It is based on the same chassis, and carry spare ammunition under armor. The U.S. Army plans to obtain a fleet of 580 M109A7 howitzers and the same number of associated armor ammunition support vehicles. Number 6. PLZ-05 The PLZ-05, also referred to as the Type-05, is a recent Chinese development. It was developed as a successor to the Type-83 SPH. It evolved from the PLZ-45. This 155mm self-propelled howitzer has an automatic ammunition loading system. Some sources report that this autoloader has been copied from the Russian 2S19 MSTAS. The PLZ-05 fires Chinese 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire with rocket-assisted projectile is over 40 kilometers. It is also capable of firing laser-guided projectiles based on the Russian Krasnopol technology. Also, there is a GPS-guided projectile with a claimed maximum range of 100 kilometers. However, it is unconfirmed. Maximum rate of fire is about 8 to 10 rounds per minute. Onboard ammunition supply is around 30 rounds. This self-propelled howitzer is supported by an associated ammunition resupply vehicle which carries ammunition under armor on the battlefield. The resupply vehicle carries about 90 rounds and is capable of automated delivery. The support vehicle is fitted with a crane, which is used for ammunition handling operations and can also be used to replace the power pack and for other load handling operations. Number 5. Type 99 the Type 99 is a Japanese self-propelled howitzer. It was developed by the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and the Japan Steelworks. A small number of Type 99 self-propelled howitzers is currently in service with the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. 
So far, this howitzer was never exported. Earlier Japanese laws did not allow export of weapons and or military equipment. Maximum range of fire is 30 kilometers with standard HEFRAG projectile and approximately 38 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectile. Maximum rate of fire is around 6 rounds per minute. The Type 99 self-propelled howitzer is resupplied from the Type 99 ammunition resupply vehicle. A battery of the Type 99 howitzers also includes a mobile command post and fire control radar. Number 4. K9 Thunder The K9 Thunder is a South Korean self-propelled howitzer. In the late 1980s, the Republic of Korea Army drew up its requirements for a new indigenous 155mm tracked howitzer to meet the requirements of the 21st century. Key operational requirements included a higher rate of fire, longer range, better accuracy, and faster into and out of action times. Development of the K-9 Thunder began in 1989. It entered service in 1999 and replaced the older K-55 self-propelled howitzer that is a Korean version of the American M109A2. The K-9 is fielded by the Republic of Korea Army in large numbers. K-9 Thunder is fitted with automatic shell handling and ramming system. It is compatible with standard NATO 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 30 kilometers with standard HEFRAG projectile and 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectile. The K9 Thunder has a maximum rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute and is capable of multiple rounds simultaneous impact firing. It is able to fire 3 rounds in 15 seconds, each in different trajectories, so that all of the shells arrive on target at the same time. This artillery system carries a total of 48 rounds for the main gun. The K9 is fitted with automatic fire control system, an internal navigation system, and automatic gun laying systems. It takes 30 seconds to prepare to fire at emplacement and 60 seconds from movement. The artillery system is supported by a dedicated K10 ammunition resupply vehicle. This is also based on the K9 chassis. The reloading process is fully automated and can be performed without exposing the crew under enemy fire or in contaminated areas. T-155 for Tina is a Turkish 155mm self-propelled howitzer. It uses subsystems of the K-9. It is in service with the Turkish Armed Forces. Number 3. PLZ-52 The PLZ-52 is a new Chinese self-propelled howitzer. It is an improved version of the PLZ-05, which is used by the Chinese Army. Currently, it is among the most capable artillery systems in the world. However, the PLZ-52 is aimed mainly at export customers, rather than the Chinese Army. Number 2. 2S-35 Kolyatsia SV The 2S-35 Kolyatsia SV is the latest Russian artillery system. It was developed as a successor to the 2S-19 MSTAS. The first demonstration of this self-propelled howitzer was completed in 2006. It was unique and had two 152mm guns. However, for some reason, twin-barrel design was abandoned. In 2013, a new prototype of the Kolichia SV was completed. It had a different design and only one gun. A first batch of 12 artillery systems was delivered to the Russian army in 2015. Currently, it is one of the most capable howitzers in the world. Even though the Kolitsia SV resembles the older 2S19 MSTAS, it is a totally different system. It has an unmanned turret and is armed with 152mm ordnance. It has a fully automated ammunition loading and handling system and utilizes modular charge system. This artillery system can fire a wide range of munitions, including standard and rocket-assisted HEFRAG projectiles, cluster projectiles with anti-tank submunitions, and jammer-carrying projectiles. Range of fire with standard projectile is around 30 kilometers and around 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectile. A new long-range precision-guided round has been developed. It has a claimed maximum range of 70 kilometers. It is also capable of firing older Krasnopol precision-guided munitions with a range of 20 to 25 kilometers. Maximum rate of fire is around 8 rounds per minute. It seems that the Kolitsia is capable of multiple round, simultaneous impact firing. This artillery system carries an impressive onboard ammunition supply of around 60 to 70 rounds. 
The Colizia SV has a high level of automation. This artillery system is operated by a crew of only three soldiers. This artillery system has a built-in ammunition reloading system at the rear of the turret that allows the reloading of ammunition from resupply trucks. Number 1. PZH-2000 the PZH-2000 is a German self-propelled howitzer. It is a very advanced and extremely capable artillery system. Initially, the German army planned to order a total of 1,254 new self-propelled howitzers. However, in 1996, a contract was signed for only 185 artillery systems. The first of these self-propelled howitzers were delivered to the German army in 1998. It has also been exported to some countries. The PZH-2000 has a fully automatic loading system with an ammunition management system. It is compatible with standard NATO 155mm ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 30 kilometers with standard HEFRAG projectiles and 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectiles. Maximum rate of fire is a whopping 9 rounds per minute. This artillery system is capable of multiple rounds simultaneous impact MRSI firing. It can launch several shells with different trajectories that would land on the target simultaneously. Such a way of firing is very efficient. The PZH-2000 receives target data via a data link. The gun is automatically laid using the fire control data. This artillery system has a high level of protection. Its front armor withstands hits from 14.5 mm rounds. Add-on explosive reactive armor can be fitted if necessary.